Texas Local Live. I'm Ben Martinek, and tonight we've got Mr. Reed Barton on the show. How's it going, Reed? It's going pretty good. Oh, that's what we like to hear. Uh, we've got uh, the Jed Crisp, the Jed Crisp behind the camera tonight. You can't see him, and he doesn't want to talk, so he doesn't have a mic or anything. Uh, but he's back there behind the scenes, focusing in and making us look good. So, But Reed, it's all about you tonight, my friend. We want to hear oh, your story. We want to hear where you're from. We want to just, everything, man. Secrets, whatever you got, man. You can dish it out. Uh, well, I mean... It's like the one place I wouldn't talk about my, my secrets. <laughs> For everybody sure. on live and everything, too. Let yeah. me tell you about my life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just a little glimpse into it. Well, you can start out, but give us a little insight of how you, well, I guess where you came from first, and we can get into music after that, but I just, just to give the audience something to go on. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I'm from Burleson, so South hey Fort Worth. Um, and I grew up on just about every kind of music you can imagine, but I stuck with country. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's just music's always been a big part of my life, so decided to run with it. There you go. Did you have anyone in your family that was musically inclined, or was it? I did not. No, I just not. pulled it. My my dad, I, my parents, growing up, were really into rodeo. Yeah. So uh, I'm into rodeo as well. Um, nice. But not what do you like do in rodeo, man? Yeah. Oh, not like. Go ahead. Sorry. Not, well, not like my dad was. Ah. He was. He was pretty much full time back in the day. Um, I don't really compete much. I mean, I, I've never. I've, I've I've rode a couple of couple of bulls but that's about it there you go but uh yeah I, eight I seconds just enjoy it no 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 oh. i it my bull riding career was about 15 seconds mm -hmm. <laughs> it's about five bulls three <laughs> seconds a piece yeah okay i was giving you the benefit of three to five but okay no, that's cool no right. no other way around, other way around. <laughs> flip that one huh yeah. well very cool so you just kind of came you found it yourself um, i mean how old were you when you started playing i mean did you get into guitar first or I, I started playing guitar when i was about 10 oh nice um and then i started performing live probably two or three years ago that's cool. How'd you get your first guitar? Where'd that come from? Oh, my brother. Uh, my brother had an electric guitar, and uh, he was he was a troublemaker. So he got in trouble by my <laughs> parents, and they took it away from him. And uh, then I got my hands on it, and oh, I started playing it. So, that's pretty good little yeah. uh, story. I like that actually. Yeah, that's little, awesome. Kind of stole it right out from under him. He's still kind of bitter about it. <laughs> oh, really? Does he play, or is it just he, you he, just got all the he skills does not. with it? I, 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 he had the chance to, but yeah. I, I took him. I took him over. Shouldn't have got in trouble. Why did he get? What did he do? You know. Yeah. Oh yeah. He, I I don't even remember. It's probably probably bullying me and my other brothers. I mean, he's it. the oldest one. So. Oh okay. So what are you? Youngest, middle? I'm the youngest. I'm You're the, the youngest. Oh okay. Very I'm nice. The, I'm the baby. The baby getting everything, getting all the guitars and all the all mm -hmm. the love from from mom. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Exactly right. Oh, uh, that's, that's awesome. That's how it goes, man. That's exactly how it goes. I'm the oldest, so I don't I don't have any of that. I'm on the oh, other end. Oh yeah, of it. so you get you get the short end. Yeah. Oh, I got well, I got the guitar. I grabbed it, but then I didn't let it go. I didn't get in trouble or anything. I was there like, nah, go. this is for me. I'm Played gonna, it smart. I'm Played gonna smart. I'm gonna do this. Yeah. So how long you been uh, picking now? I mean, like you said, you were ten when you started playing, but how, mm -hmm. what about like writing and getting into that scene? Like, oh well, so um, yeah, I've, I've been playing guitar like almost you know almost every day for ten, eleven years now. So. I've been playing guitar for a long time, and um, I started, you know, I started messing around and writing um, when I was pretty young. I remember I'd write down, you know, I didn't know how to put it all together, though, you know. Yeah. I would, because um, all, all, I, all I knew how to do was learn, you know, guitar licks and riffs and stuff. I didn't know how to, you know, piece it all together. Um, yeah. But I started writing, writing, you know, songs down and lyrics when I was really, really young, and then later on was able to start piecing it together, and then... In high school, three or four years ago, I, uh, I I started getting in with the right people who kind of you know pushed me to you know get on stage and actually try it. Yeah, you know? that's, and, that's uh, it's never looked. That's back. what it takes, man. That's exactly yeah. what it takes. It was a, it was a, it was an old man. He he made me get up on stage. It was an old man at a like kind of a family friend type thing, and he made me get up on stage at a at a uh, uh, the Burger Barn down Burger there Barn. in Te in, uh, in Burleson or in in Egan, Texas, right outside of Burleson. Okay. So, so push yeah. you up an open mic and just made yeah. you get in there, huh? Yeah, and I just never looked back. That's pretty awesome, man. That's what it takes. How old were, uh, how old were you when you did that, did you say? Probably 16. 16? Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. I was wondering how long you've been playing yeah. in the room or whatever, yeah, picking yeah. around before you had to get pushed on stage yeah. there. And after that, it was just I was just hooked. So yeah. I just did it every chance I could get. Very cool, man. That's yeah. awesome. So what uh, kind of stuff got you? What were you picking when you first got it? I mean, obviously you had some country going too, but what oh, were you man. picking, man? Well, when I first picked up the guitar, it was rock and roll all the way. It was rock and roll and blues, um, like old school rock and roll. Like, uh, you know, 
from the 60s and 70s and 80s. Uh, nice. But my biggest, my favorite band, it still is, uh, is ACDC. Heck sure. yeah, man. Yeah. That's what's up. I'll dig ACDC yeah. all day long. And Stevie Ray Vaughan and ZZ Top and all those guys. Givens, right? Yeah. The Givens, yeah. Dude, very cool. Yeah. And then obviously some little country. I'm assuming oh, 90s, sure. 90s country. Sure, sure, yeah. <laughs> I, I grew up, and I grew up on the country big time. Um, so my, my, my dad was real big in the country mm-hmm. and uh, my granddad was real big in the country. So uh, it just naturally, I just, I've always, like the rock and roll was introduced to me and then the country was just always there. Yeah. So it's just been there from day one. It's it's always been country music in our family. So. Okay. Very cool, man. Yeah. So you got uh, some stuff going. Uh, we've had recently. I saw you had an EP come out mm-hmm. last year. Yeah. yeah. Or I say last year, 2017. But yeah. yeah. Newly new year. So tell us a little bit about that and then uh, give us a, where we can get that too. Just so. Right on. Um, so that, yeah, that was, you know, that was the first time I'd ever really um, released anything. It was kind of a shot in the dark. Um and I just I I asked as many questions as I could and tried to get as much info as I could before I did it, and um, yeah I just I recorded it at three or four different studios over the course of probably six months, um, and finally pieced it all together and decided to try to do a full blown release and it actually worked out really well for me it opened up a lot of doors, um, and I met a lot of really cool people got to go to a lot of cool places I earned, I earned a couple shows opening up for some really big artists, um, and it was it was just a really big opportunity so and then now it kind of puts me in the place to like for the next one you know when the next record comes out yeah it kind of i kind of know what to expect what to do you know and um kind of gives me that experience those miles under my belt yeah so i'll be a little more prepared for the next one i can grow there you go the future very so. cool and how many songs did you have on that one that for- that one was um i believe there's seven songs on okay. there um that's a pretty good little yeah, two album, two man. two covers and five originals uh, one was one one of the covers was recorded live on New Year's Eve last year, so a little over a year ago. Very cool. So yeah, awesome. and I, I was I was really proud of it. I had a big release party in Burleson and a little bar we played at. It was, it was packed that night. Nice. I invited a lot of people. Very good, so, man. Yeah, but the bartender digs that, huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, they were happy. They they wanted to have me back after that. <laughs> there you go. Hey, crank this mic down towards you here a little bit. There we go. Getting yelled at by Jed. He's uh he's back here like stomping his feet. Calm and, like, down, pointing back at there. us. I know, man. We gotta get him to just chill out. Chill out. I'm just kidding. Jed's like the most calm person that I know. <laughs> Next to me, of course. I'm so chill. Of course, of course. Uh, so you're you, when you got that song going, you hit the road a little bit, yeah. I mean, you playing around the state. I mean, you're you're down at SFA playing mm-hmm. stuff around there. Correct. Um, but where else have you been around the state or in other states for that matter? Been. Um, I've so I've played. I've only played the only uh, only other state. I've uh oh, states I've played in. I've played in, I, I say gigged there, but I've like small stuff up in Tennessee. Okay. And then uh, I, I I like to go to Nashville as much as I can. And then oh, I've yeah. I've played some gigs in Oklahoma as well. Very cool. Um, but yeah, I, I you know I'll 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 go wherever I have a guitar and I'll try and and, and we'll travel. You yeah. Know? So uh, yeah, your bio said something about that. Like we'll go wherever. It doesn't matter. You tell us where yeah, we go. Exactly. We'll pick you, it. <laughs> you just tell me where and I'll yeah. be there. Um. Yeah, so you know, I've I've played uh, I've played Austin, I've played College Station, I've played Houston, um, just about every town around here probably. Yeah. Um, Burleson, you know, of course, countless times, and then in East Texas quite a bit. I Nacogdoches, I have a residency there, um, and of course, it'll be it's kind of on it, they 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 updated on the website because of my school schedule and then stuff they have going on. It's uh it's pre- but it's pretty consistent throughout the year. It's Wednesday nights. Cool. Um, and then the Gladewater Opry north of uh north of Nacogdoches north of a little north of I-20 I've played there multiple times and um yeah just like I said anywhere that'll uh anywhere that'll that'll pay me yeah for sure <laughs> so, where you where you uh you have the residency in uh, NAC where are you playing yeah it's it's the, it's at the Liberty Bell the Liberty Bell yeah, okay the Liberty no, Bell is a, is a great great bar I love it yeah we're just gonna get some props there I think Mr. Uh, Jed actually was talking about that earlier we were yeah. talking uh behind the cameras he yeah. was playing there so cool! Right if you're on. ever uh, driving around Knack and uh, you're on a Wednesday night hanging out, you should probably just go check him out. Probably seven that's to right. ten or something. I don't know. It's, what it's, it's eight to twelve. <laughs> eight to twelve. Yeah. Ooh, that's a good set, my friend. It all is. solo. It, all solo Ooh, acoustic. Everyone's man. In that. That's so a long... take a take a take a little break in between, about fifteen minutes. But well, and it is long, but it's you know it's it, it's a challenge, and yeah. I love it because it's you know there there are some nights where I'm tired and I and I or I, or I don't you know. But I still, you know, I, I go out there and I and I and I do it the best I can, you know, yeah. every time. And 
um, even if there's just a couple people or even if there's, you know, three or four fraternities, just pack the whole place, mm-hmm. you know, because there, there's I, I remember there was one night where it was dead. I mean, it, it was dead. Even the bartenders walked out of the room. Wow. Like it, yeah. it, I was the only one that I could see in the entire place. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, um, two or three fraternities and a sorority showed up and they oh. just whoosh, just filled the it literally, literally zero to 60. Yeah. I mean, 60 people probably, yeah. you know, within a within a few minutes and um then it was really busy after that. Yeah, and then you're <laughs> so, then you're like, "Oh, damn." I was like, "Oh, wow. I was Let's play that I, set I, over I again." Just, yeah. <laughs> Let's so, get it rolling. Yeah. That's awesome, man. And it, it gives it gives me a a really good chance to test drive any new material. Oh, yeah, um, for sure. And I I, you know, engage the people's reactions whether the song's good or not. Exactly. So. Speaking of that new material, how do you uh what's your writing process like? Like what do you get I, into? You know, I don't really have a regular process, but it's basically one of those things where I'll I'll sit down and say, "Oh, wow, I haven't written anything in a while. I need to write something." <laughs> and <laughs> Um, and you know, typically it, it, it's just kind of whenever it hits and, and I, I have, um, I'll have something swimming through my head and, and usually I'll, I'll, I'll write it down. Uh, but sometimes if it's just a faint idea, I'll let it build up for a little while. And if I keep having the same idea in my head over and over, then I'll write it down. Then I know it's something that kind of sticks because I, I remembered it for so long. Sure. And stuck with it so long. So ago. it's off by ideas just as you're moving around. Yeah, I mean, you sure. record and, maybe snippets or and, something. And I, and sure. And I, and I hit up, you know, just about as many co-writes as I can. Yeah. So I've, I've got several co-writes, uh, with a lot, a lot of good friends and, and other great artists. Um, but, uh, yeah, most of my stuff. It's just kind of on the fly. Um, like I'll be driving down the road and just I'll, I'll think of something and I'll whip out my phone and hit the voice record. Yeah, exactly. Record it all down. Heck and yeah. Then that's write how, it all down later. Yeah, right? that's how it usually starts out. Too. Oh, yeah. And sometimes the best stuff starts out that yeah. way. Yeah. Oh, so. most of the time it starts out that way. It's yeah, just exactly. one little idea, then you write a song in like an hour and you're done. It's like the exactly. best song you've or, written. Or, or, you know, three or four in the morning when I'm oh, laying yeah. there and I can't sleep, I'm just humming to myself. And mm-hmm. Finally, I'm like, okay, I got to get this down. So I'll you probably don't sound crazy at all laying in bed humming to yourself. Just, mm-hmm. No, no. No, not, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, man. I do that all the time. It's cool. Oh, yeah. Every musician's got their like thing they got to do to get it out, right? You got to get, yeah, you got to yeah. get the ticks out, man, because if you don't, it's going to never exactly. turn into and, and then you feel bad because you forgot it and you kick yourself. You're right. You should have wrote it down. Yeah, exactly. Oh, too. That's the, that is the single worst feeling as a musician, I can oh, say, is gosh. having an idea in your head and then you just complete, you're oh, like, like, oh you, I'll record it in a you, minute. You'll get in, the, you'll, get, you'll get in the shower like, oh, this is a hit record. This is going to be a hit. <laughs> and then and you'll get out 10 or 15 minutes later and I forgot what it was. It's not. It was a hit right It here. was a hit. Like, hey, I, saw, I, I went gold hey, on that I song. almost wrote a hit last night. I went gold. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. Yeah. So uh, anything else you've learned on the road, man? I mean, you're you're young. How old are you, man? How do we ask? I'm 21. You're 21. So you're, you're, you're young getting out there in the scene. I mean, is there something for younger musicians or musicians getting into it now? I mean, you've been doing it for a little bit. I mean, what kind of advice would you give, if, if anything at all? Or are you still oh. in the learning stages? Oh, well, I mean, I, and I, I think this might be a little bit of a cliche answer, but I think it's so <laughs> true. Um, you know, you're always in the learning stages. Sure. Yep. Always, always. But um, I think that, um, no, it definitely. I, I'm definitely still in that, that, but I see what you're saying. I, I'm still, you know, I'm, I'm still working my way up to, Oh I, I yeah, I feel like I have a lot more potential, you know. Yo, and, very much so. Yeah. I don't mean that. I mean in the sense of um, anything. I guess your perspective of the scene, sure. maybe the no, Texas music course, scene. That's probably more. No, um, it, it. You know, if I've learned anything, um, I, 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 I de- every chance I get, I always talk to like, um, like bigger artists mm-hmm. when I when I watch them. Like, like if I go see Jason Boland sure. or, or Cody Canada or William Clark Green or mm-hmm. one of those guys, you know, they're they're all the the guys I really like and yeah. I look up to, you know. And if I go see those guys, I always hang around after, mm-hmm. and then I go and uh and and talk to them, and I always ask them, maybe not, hey, what advice do you have? And yeah, I, some, sometimes yeah. I try to be a little more, you know, yeah, don't <laughs> and ask like a, a certain question, but um, you know, like I was talking to William Clark Green at a music conference a few weeks ago, and he said. He was like, dude, 90% of success is just showing up. Mm-hmm. Just go out there. You know, sometimes you just need to step back and, and stop stop trying to split all the hairs and break it down so much yeah. into, you know, I need to do this and this and this and this exactly. And just go and do it. Just you get know? it, yeah. Just get it. You know, and, and the first time I went to Nashville, I ended up going with a, with my family. It ended up as a little family trip, mm-hmm. we, but I was going to go by myself, but my family was like, well, we'll make we'll a trip out you. of yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, okay, and I was great. like, all right, that's cool. <laughs> but, uh, it, I, I went to a show with, uh, Robert O'Keen and Lyle Lovett. Cool. And, uh, I, I ended up getting to meet him 
it was a, through a friend of a friend, got some passes and got to meet him. Afterwards. Very cool. And so I, I asked him the same thing. Like, what would, what would you, for a, for a bare minimum song or but not bare minimum, um, for like a, just starting out songwriter, yeah. what would you, what advice would you give? And they both said the same thing. They both said, just get in your truck and go to Nashville and just go meet people, go make connections mm-hmm. or not even just Nashville, but just, just go and just make those connections, yeah. meet those people and just do it. Shake like, hands, just, man. Just, yeah. you know, look up to, you know, it's just like Nike, you know, just do it, mm-hmm. you just, know? Do it man. just do it. Just and do it's, it. it's so true. And it's just, just reach out and do it, you know, go out there, play the shows, meet the people, shake all the hands, right. you know, do that as much as you can. And then a little later on, when you're ready, when you have the money, when you have the the resources, then utilize it all and spearhead it and, and you know, make the career. For but sure. Just go out and do it, man. Yeah. This is when we uh, put the Shia LaBeouf meme in here, man. Just that, do it. Just do it. Just, just do it. Man, I, 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 that rolled across my feed the other day. I had to watch it. I was oh, freaking I was like, man oh, said, man. Just do it. Just get you. Yeah. He just gets so <laughs> into. He just his eyes are popping. I don't up. know what to say. Yeah. All right. Anyway, so let's right, just do though. it. Nike and, yeah. and Shia LaBeouf. But uh, cool, man. So you've got honestly, you've got a lot of uh, of stuff to give, man. You've got some good tunes. You got some Thank you. cool sound. I love Thank dig you, the voice a lot. Actually, uh, I'm looking forward to hearing some songs here in a second. Thank you, um, but we do want to give you some plug time. We also, sure. anything else you got to mention too, man. We like to hear what's coming up this year, what you got planned, um, sure. you know, what other things are on the record. Um, well, so I don't have any, uh, I don't have any plans for a full record, like, or any specified plans. Of course, I always have plans. Sure, but, yeah. Something will change uh, in t- sure, next week. <laughs> sure, but any official plans, um, not as of yet um, for a full record, but I am releasing a single on spring break okay uh, it's a song i'll play for y'all here in a little while it's awesome. called spotlight cool um and it's just it's kind of about like my experience doing that thing even just as an acoustic artist going from town to town you know picking all these different bars and honky tonks and meeting all these people it's kind of like my experience with all of that um, awesome but yeah that, that's about it it's march 10th um it's a i'll be um You'll be up around there, up this way. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. 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 I'll be up around this way, and March tenth is the official release. Release date. date. Okay. For that. Yeah. So, do you have a, a band, or do you do a lot of solo stuff? Okay. Cool. I do. Um, and you know, I love my band. We don't get together as much as as much as I would like for us to, uh, but we do. We do get together. You know, we haven't much lately, but we we used to play a lot more often together. But we do have a, a full band coming up, a uh, full band show coming up on uh, February 16th at Bostock's in Stephenville. Okay, nice. So uh, I'm really looking forward to that. I got a lot of friends coming out to that. Um, of course, I grew up in Burleson, mm-hmm. so a lot of my friends went to Tarleton. So, And hopefully all, they'll bring all their friends. And yeah. We'll see We'll see how we do. Pack the so, house, man. Yeah. Very cool. So where can we find your uh, stuff, social media? Um, there you go. Let's see. Yes, you can find you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You know, it's all just look up my name, Reed Barton. Um, usually, my handle is just Reed Barton Music. Okay, uh, it's that on. Actually, that's the name of my page, my Twitter account, and my Instagram account. There you go. Um, and you can you can find my music on iTunes, on Spotify, um, of course, Apple Music, mm-hmm. and then um, Amazon Music, Google Play. Yeah. Um, Pretty much anywhere and else. <laughs> I think even on YouTube, but there, there's videos of me uploaded that I never even uploaded. So yeah, it's kinda, like <laughs> yeah. it's not a bad it, thing though. Maybe someone's yeah, uploading just, stuff for you. It's like whatever. Yeah. I mean, if they start making money, then then I'll mm, be like, hey, yeah, hey, it hey, is your name. Yeah, yeah. Hey guys, what's yeah. up? But you know, we'll but uh, but right now, yeah, it's it's, it's cool. So um, but yeah, you, you can find it on iTunes, Spotify, uh, Google Play, Amazon, all all most of the, the yeah. major music platforms. Big platforms, cool. So, well, Reed, we appreciate you uh, chatting with us, giving some insight into you, man. We're going to hear some songs here from you, too, so don't go anywhere. you got to stay. Here. Stick around. We'll be back for those. My name's Reed Barton. This is an original song called Spotlight. Um, I'm releasing it as a single on March 10th, so mark your calendars. It's called Spotlight. Different bars in different towns Chasing booze, chasing women Loving the sounds of a crying steel guitar Throw a fiddle in and then you start to 
begin to get that low down country sound. Well, I'm standing on a stage for the whole wide world to see. Singing out loud with a spotlight shining on me. Burning fuel, busting strings, talking to girls backstage after the show. If you're gonna be a star, son, you best learn that you can't be happy with no. Well, you gotta be pushy, you gotta be mean, you gotta learn to lay the hammer down. But if you burn all your bridges, you better get ready to drown. Gotta be the best to get that crowd screaming your name. With a spotlight shining on me Called, uh, Young Guitar Man It's the last song I wrote I-35 between Fort Worth and Austin His tires hum beneath him in the night He ain't seen a bed in 33 hours But the cash in his pocket has got him feeling alright He don't have many friends He don't have much money don't have the fortune or the fame And out there in the night The road show is quiet And he can hear loud and clear As it's calling his name That sounds like the life of a young guitar man A troubadour's heart in an old poet's hand Made his last dollar just to sing one more song. And even with friends, sometimes he's alone. Hey, he'll be an old man, tired and gray. Maybe he'll be ready to settle down Maybe he'll have a fortune Maybe he'll have the fame But as long as he's happy It'll all be the same That sounds like the life of a young guitar man A troubadour's heart in an old poet's hand Trade his last dollar just to sing one more song. Even with friends, sometimes he's alone. That sounds like the life of a young guitar man. A troubadour's heart in an old poet's hand. Trade his last dollar just to sing. Fort 
Worth and Austin His tires hum beneath him in the night He ain't seen a bed in 23 hours But the cash in his pocket Just got a feeling alright Hey guys, thanks for tuning in Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel Check us out at TexasLocalLive.com for everything else that's going on in our world. Be sure to check us out on all the other social media platforms we have at Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat at Texas Local Live, and we hope to be seeing you around there.